Absolution is a traditional theological term for the forgiveness experienced in the sacrament of penance. This concept is found in the Roman Catholic Church, as well as the Eastern Orthodox Churches, the Anglican Churches, Lutheran Churches and Methodist Churches. Roman Catholic Church absolution is an integral part of the sacrament of penance, in Roman Catholicism. The penitent makes a sacramental confession of all mortal sins to a priest and prays an act of contrition. The priest then assigns a penance and imparts absolution in the name of the Trinity, on behalf of Christ himself, using a fixed sacramental formula. The traditional formula is, Dominus Noster Jesus Christos de Absolvit et ego octorit et ipsius t absolvo ab omni vinculo ex communicationis, suspensionis, et interdicti in quantum possum et tu indigis. De end, ego t absolvo peccatus tu is in nomine patris, et filii, plus et spiritus sancti. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you and by his authority I absolve you from every bond of excommunication, suspension, and interdict, so far as my power allows and your needs require. Making the sign of the cross, thereupon, I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, plus and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The current formula, after the liturgical reforms of 1970, is, Deus. Pater misericordiarum, keeper mortem et resurrectionum filis suae mundum sibi reconciliavit et spiritum sanctum ifudit in remissionum peccatorum, per ministerium ecclesi indulgentiam tibi tribuat et pacem. Et ego t absolvo peccatus tu is in nomine patris, et fili comma plus et spiritus sancti. God, the Father of mercies through the death and resurrection of his Son has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins, through the ministry of the Church may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, plus and of the Holy Spirit. The essential part of the formula, the words which must be said for the absolution, and the entire sacrament of penance to take effect, or, in church law terms, be sacramentally valid, are, I absolve you. Absolution of sins most importantly forgives mortal sins, and, if one does not commit a mortal sin after having been validly absolved, enables one to die in the state of grace, able to eventually enter heaven, but it also allows the valid and non-sinful reception of the sacraments especially the Eucharist at Mass, the lawful exercise of ecclesiastical offices and ministries by laity or clerics, and full participation in the life of the Church. However, for certain especially grave sins to be forgiven and for the accompanying Church penalties to be lifted, there are formal processes which must take place along with the absolution, which must then be given, depending on the seriousness of the type of sin, either by the Pope, through the Apostolic Penitentiary, the local bishop, or a priest authorized by the bishop. This formula is preceded by other short prayers similar to those used at Mass after the Confidier. Suspension, in the context of the formula for absolution, refers to a canonical penalty which can be incurred only by clerics, therefore, it is omitted when absolving a layman. Some priests use, in both the ancient and the more recent form, a short prayer for the spiritual well-being of the penitent, Passio Domini Nostri Jesse Christi, Merita Beatty Marae Virginis et Omnium Sanctorum, Quid Good Bonificeris Vil Malisus Nuris Sinta B in Remissionum Peccatorum, Augmentum Gratiae et Bramium Vitae Eterni. Amen. May the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the merits of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the saints and also whatever good you do or evil you endure merit for you the remission of your sins, the increase of grace and the reward of everlasting life. Amen. This prayer shows the concepts of merit and the communion of saints in the greater context of grace as understood in Catholic theology. Absolution forgives the guilt associated with the penitent's sins, and removes the eternal punishment, hell, associated with mortal sins, but only if the penitent has a firm purpose of amendment and is truly contrite. The penitent is still responsible for the temporal punishment, purgatory, associated with the confessed sins, unless an indulgence is applied or, if through prayer, penitence and good works, the temporal punishment is cancelled in this life. General Absolution, General Absolution, where all eligible Catholics gathered at a given area are granted absolution for sins without prior individual confession to a priest, is lawfully granted in only two circumstances, there is imminent danger of death and there is no time for a priest or priests to hear the confessions of the individual penitents, for example, to soldiers before a battle, a serious need is present, that is, the number of penitents is so large that there are not sufficient priests to hear the individual confessions properly within a reasonable time, generally considered to be one month, so that the Catholics, through no fault of their own, would be forced to be deprived of the sacrament or communion. The diocesan bishop must give prior permission before general absolution may be given under this circumstance. It is important to note that the occurrence of a large number of penitents, such as may occur on a pilgrimage or at penitential services is not considered as sufficient to permit general absolution. The second circumstance is thus envisaged more for mission territories where priests may visit certain villages only a few times a year. For a valid reception of general absolution, the penitent must be contrite for all his mortal sins and have the resolution to confess at the next earliest opportunity each of those mortal sins that is forgiven in general absolution. Anyone receiving general absolution is also required to make a complete, individual confession to a priest as soon as possible before receiving general absolution again. An historical example is the absolution given by Father William Corby to the Irish Brigade during the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863. Contemporary examples of general absolution are the Three Mile Island nuclear accident where general absolution was granted to all Catholics endangered by the incident, and the FDNY firefighters, many of whom were Italian and Irish, who were granted general absolution by local priests before heading into the burning World Trade Towers on September 11, 2001. The French form ups out is used in English for the absolution of the dead, a series of prayers said after the Requiem Mass. The absolution of the dead does not forgive sins or confer the sacramental absolution of the sacrament of penance. Rather, it is a series of prayers to God that the person's soul will not have to suffer the temporal punishment in purgatory due for sins which were forgiven during the person's life. The absolution of the dead is only performed in context of the Tridentine Mass.